today. See how this goes. I'm going to record a little example of converting some C code to Y86. 64 here I've already got the C code. This is an example from my x86 64 conversion to assembly, so I'm not going to explain this. You can look at that in the um, the video. So we've got our x86 64 code. Right. Right here. And we've got our Y8664 instructions on the left hand side there. And what we want to do is convert what we have in X86 to Y86. And so we'll take this line by line. <clears throat> so we've got move Q from two registers. In Y86, that's an RR move Q instruction. I've got my um, my register set down below, but I don't, I don't need that for this. So this one line is going to become one line of Y86. It's going to be the same sort of RR move Q and the same registers. So we have the same register set. So RDI move RDI into RAX what that's saying right and then we've got a test queue instruction here in x86 followed by a jump sign well we don't have test queue in y86 but remember the test queue is simply doing an and of its two operands and setting the condition codes accordingly well, we see that this test queue is on RDI with RDI, and that RDI is no longer used after this point. And RDI is also caller saved. We see that at the bottom, right? So we don't have to save RDI, and we're not going to use it anymore. So we can destroy it here, uh, overwrite it with um, the AND operation. So we do have a logical AND. Y86, so we can use AND Q. And RDI with RDI, storing the result into RDI, since it's a AND of a number with itself, it's just the number itself, which means we don't actually destroy the value in RDI, we still have it there. So that's that's all well and good. At any rate, then we can use similar sort of instruction here as jump signed in the y86 we wouldn't use jump signed we'll use jump less than jl and our same destination right that that's equivalent to jumping if the sign is set so then we'll have this uh, dot l1 label and that's still going to be a ret instruction. That's identical. And then we'll have dot L2. And at dot L2, we've got this neg Q negation of um, the RAX value. Well, there's no negation in Y86. So we need to figure out how are we going to get the negation of a value. So negating a value is subtracting that value from zero, right? So um, let's say negative x is equivalent to zero minus x, right? I'm going to leave that as a comment here. A little, little bit ugly comment. So what we need is we need a value zero. And we need our value that we're negating. Well, actually, in this case, we're negating v, right? So negative v equals 0 minus v. That's fine. It doesn't matter. So I need a colon on that. So I need the value of 0. How do I get the value of 0 in y86? Well, uh, I can XOR a number with itself 
and that will give me zero, right? Um, and I'm going to eventually want to put my result into RAX, so I'm going to zero out RAX, and you'll see why that is in just a second. So I'm going to use XOR Q. Now I need to use the subtract operation. The subtract operation, sub Q, it subtracts A from B and stores the result in B, right? So here's A, subtract A from B. Well, A is RDI, subtract RDI. A from B, which is RAX, and store the result in B, which is RAX, right? So this is going to give me RAX equals 0 minus V or negative V. So these two instructions together are my neg Q instruction. And then jump back to L1. Well, that's that's the same instruction. I just jump back to L1 because I have the negation now of V in RAX and I'm done. So that's it. Here is the code. Now let's take a look at what that code looks like if we go into a simulator and we push this, uh, we add this code and we run it. So I've got a simulator open here. Now the simulator that I'm, I'm using is hosted on GitHub. So here I've got a, a blank sort of template of Y86 assembly. I've got my main function here. And I'm going to do in main is I'm going to add a couple of constant values into my arguments for my ABS function. And so I just want to put a value some value into the argument for ABS and then call ABS. So I put a negative value into there and call ABS and return. So now I need my ABS function, ABS. And this is long ABS V value v is in rdi and i've got my my lines of of code from my transcription so i've got rr move q rdi rax and q rdi with rdi and jump less than dot l2 i got my dot l1 which is just ret i got my dot l2 clearing out rax and subtracting our di from rax so now i've got rax equals negative v and so now i can return well i'll do that by jumping back to l1 uh, you know you could put ret there too but this is just being honest to the original implementation so now i've got my absolute value function i can assemble it uh, no assembly errors I can run it and I can see that the value in RAX is at the end, the return value from my ABS function. And that's equal to this value, which I could confirm is the absolute value of the negative value that I had loaded into it. So that's all there is to it. That is um, a pretty simple conversion of Y86 code from x86 code, assuming you can get to x86 code from uh, C. Now that was a very simple example, and uh, hopefully I can put together some more complicated ones for you in the near future.